Welcome to my permaculture chicken system. This is one of my favorite systems because it integrates so many parts of the farm together. We've got the chicken food forest um, where the chickens can get extra food. We've got the chicken house made of natural materials with automated door feeders and water. We've got the chicken run which incorporates grey water system from our community house as well as our chicken compost system which makes the best quality compost. Inside there is loads of different fruit trees to feed them and on the other side is our agroforest which is another field for them to be rotated into from the chicken run and behind is our reforestation field as well. I love this system because it's permanent, low maintenance, generally automated. So let's go in and have a look. The best part of this permaculture system is the chicken powered compost system. So it's a multi-stage compost system that starts with all the inputs, all the biological waste coming from the farm, like food scraps and weeds, manure and biochar. And that gets moved downhill by the chickens with some help from us making some piles. And that just creates so many bugs and insects and worms for the chickens to eat. It increases their protein feed so much. I'll make a more detailed video on the compost system because it is really fantastic. It's less work for me and produces the best fine compost uh, which I can use in potting mixes. We're trying to get as much eggs as possible without buying food and have healthy chickens. So one of the ways is to try and find as many automatic sources of food as possible and one is, is the microbes and the food soil web uh, in the compost and another is from fallen fruit. So this is full of trees like that big mulberry tree behind me, a fig tree, elderberry, apple, anything that drops a lot of fruit we've put here in the chicken run. So if we don't manage to grab all the fruit it will drop and we get automatic food for the chickens. The other element is the chicken food forest. I'll take you there. So welcome to the chicken food forest. I designed this based on my first food forest, which was very diverse, but a lot of work weeding. So this chicken food forest is designed for food, for food and other products for humans, and, um, but re well researched. So all the fruit and leaves are enjoyed by chickens and generally things here have quite a lot of fruit fall. So there's over 40 species here and it's now more an established system. It's been here four years and the chickens have been rotated here just for the last year. So this chicken food forest obviously reduces my feed for the chickens because they get insects and weeds from here and fallen fruit. Also they do the work for me, weeding for me and um, they fertilize as they go with chicken poo. So when the chickens aren't in here, I rotate them between the reforestation field or the agroforest. The agroforest also has um, our wine production, so we don't put them in there until we harvest the grapes. Another great element to the chicken run is the grey water system. We noticed when the chickens were free ranging, they'd first go to the compost pile and then they'll run around to the grey water system from the kitchen, which is basically a ditch full of wood chips and the chickens will go and get any bugs or bits of food that's come through the kitchen sink and they'll prevent any build up of uh, maggots and flies so they get extra food from here and then after a few months we'll empty out a black sludge basically when it's when the wood chips have decomposed and we'll put that into the input uh, section of the compost system and also the water is um, keeping this elderberry next to it and the mulberry behind well irrigated at some point I'd like to get more fencing here so I can install aquatic plants just to get more greenery and make the most of this water. So another, another element is integrating worms. So this is my original box worm system in the chicken run. So it's quite high and hasn't got a very large surface area at the top. But we put compost in here from next to it 
and worms. And the worms can live in the middle safely, but if any go near the side, a chicken gets them. So that's automatic chicken food. If I made this again, I'd have it much, much wider and not as high. So another really good method for getting worms to the chickens without actually having to go and count and get worms from your worm farm is to put some sort of uh, mesh, I use a bed frame, on the ground and then put some worms there. So the worms can multiply on the ground and the chickens can't get them. After about a month or two months, the worms double in um, numbers and some would have escaped underneath and, and the chickens would get them. But every two months I can move the bed frame uh, so that the new position only covers half of where it was before. The chickens can get half the worms and the other half can multiply again and get new uh, compost to eat and turn that into great worm castings. Nothing like automated free protein. So another important element in our chicken run is our chicken nursery. So this used to be a chicken tractor and I used to have to move this every day with an electric fence around and let the chickens out in the garden, which was very good, but it was a job I didn't want to do anymore. So now it's in the chicken run, and if we have any baby chicks born, then we put them in here. Either uh, when the mother's sitting on the eggs, we bring the mother, the hen, in here with the eggs, or we move them in after we raise the chicks in a chicken hotel. So we also can use this to isolate any sick chickens, or if we uh, get a new chicken or another animal that's going to be in this run we put them in here first so they can get used to all the other uh, hens that are in here and that our hens can get used to them so it's a really really important element to have ready uh, all our chickens were born here and I personally don't like to introduce new animals two groups of animals because it uh, gives a possibility to bring in disease which happened to us before so if I want to get a new type of hen, I'll get the eggs and put them under a sitting chicken. A chicken food for us this way, but we also have little places inside the run which we fence off. I've got three places like that. So we fence it off and irrigate it. So we, we always have a green area within the run and we rotate which one we open. So there's always um, lots of herbs for them available. If they're not going in the chicken food forest, they'll have that available in the run. So one of the big elements in the permaculture system is the chicken house. This has been built with natural materials all from a few meters from here, except this tin roof. So all the timbers from our trees, there's some leftover scraps we found. And um, my favorite thing about this house is the automated door. I used to have problems when I'd be in bed and my wife would say, Kimberly would say, have you put the chickens away? I'd be like, no, and then one of us will have to go out in the dark, maybe in the rain, in our dressing gown and put the chickens away. Well now we have an automated door and that means the chickens put themselves away as the sun is going down and when the sun just has finished going down, this door closes and at sunrise it opens and that maximizes the time the chickens are out and gives us uh, less jobs to do. In fact, because everything here is automated, we can go away for a couple of weeks and these chickens are absolutely fine. So inside the chicken house, some of the key elements is a sunrise view window, which we can open for extra air if we want. And we have a door that leads to the chicken food forest so that we can let them out to chicken food forest when we want. We've got perches that are high up everywhere, enough for all the chickens, 30 chickens to be at the top. And that means there's less fighting because they all want to sleep standing on top and they fight to go up there. We've got feeders raised off the ground, which we can put a month's worth of feed in um, so that the chickens can't scratch uh, the bedding into the feeder. We also have water, automatic water. We fill that up every couple of weeks and they can um, drink out of the little cup there. Um, also, we have the nesting boxes behind us. Looks like we have uh, two chickens currently sitting on eggs and one laying an egg. And from the outside, I can actually open the hatch and get the eggs without actually having to come in here. I always build uh, things so it's easy for me to manage. So this is nice and high, so I can come in and easily work in here so I keep it maintained better. So here on the other side of the inside of the chicken run is um, a sunset view for the chickens. 
There's a few of them at their chicken food forest and the reforestation field. We also have a door for me to get through to the chicken run and obviously the infamous automated door. Um, so it's really good having access from every different side because we can get in easily without entering the run and maintaining the chickens are much easier with lots of access. It was a lot, of more, <clears throat> a lot more work to build more doors, but I used recycled bed frames, old doors I found, so I didn't have to buy anything other than a couple of hinges. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, do come and visit us um, for a permaculture course or subscribe to our channel.